Good evening to you. Yeah, for most of the day, we heard from a retired Connecticut State Police detective who responded to Jennifer's New Canaan home after she was reported missing. Now, he walked us through thoroughly what he says was evidence that he found on site. One at a time. The stain pattern itself uh, appeared to us to be a uh, textured glove. Retired Connecticut State Police Detective Matthew Riley going through pictures of evidence he collected at Jennifer Dulos's New Canaan home after she was reported missing. Police suspected foul play in Jennifer's death. And you can see the blood like stains both here and here. Detective Riley went through dozens of blood like stains he says he found in several places, like on a paper towel roll in the kitchen, the handle of a cabinet, the countertop, a sink faucet, and of course, in the garage where police found Jennifer's Range Rover. There, Detective Riley found more blood like stains on the floor, including paper towels from what appeared to be a cleanup effort, and on the car itself. Detective Riley says while on scene, he used what's called a Castle Meyer or KM test, which looks for the presence of blood. You perform the test um, by uh, taking a swab, then you uh, put a drop of the uh, hydrogen peroxide on it. And if you get an immediate color change, it'll turn a bright pink color. That's a positive test. Coming back with many positive results and some negative. But the field test doesn't differentiate between human and animal blood. So for the jury, it's not conclusive evidence, only presumptive, something the defense continues to argue against. It's to suggest falsely. It would be, the, in my view, it's as um, erroneous as putting on false testimony, perjured testimony. The defense also focusing on these pictures taken in the back of Jennifer's car, where detectives use something called luminol to look for the presence of evidence not visible to the human eye. That test picks up on iron, among other things. It's a liquid that you uh, spray onto a surface in a uh, darkened environment, and it will react uh, with the iron uh, contained in blood. Something police use as a search tool to look for things like blood before going ahead with further testing. Defense asking specifically about those luminol tests. So you're not an expert in, in science. You're not a chemist or anything like that, right? No. So when you said you had some training in it, you were trained in how to administer it, right? Yes. You don't know anything about the chemistry itself. Now, within the last 45 minutes of the day, so really cutting down to the wire there, we heard from the Dulos's nanny who spoke about the relationship between Fotis and Jennifer and when she, the nanny, believes it all took a turn. We will hear from her tonight at 6. For now, we're live in Stamford, Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.